Hello Tubers! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And thank you for watching Cooper's Tide Adventure. Welcome back. Today we are back again at Ban Ply Hut. Because the last time we filmed it, we had two units for sale. And I had a lot of feedback and a lot of comments saying, Cooper, if you have any rentals, can you please let us know? Well, we do today. So we're back to show you a two bedroom for rent and a one bedroom for sale here right now. And also, Sean's told me that in the next couple of weeks, he's expecting one bedroom rentals to come up as well. So if you're interested in this place, we'll put Sean's details at the end of the video with his business card. Go ahead and email him. Unfortunately, his website's down right now. Uh, he's got a heck of a lot of new properties and we've got to get them up on there. So we're taking a website down so we can change it because a lot of old listings that we had on there previously no longer exist. So we want to keep you guys up to date. So give us a little bit of time for that. A couple of weeks, we'll have it up and running and it'll be looking fantastic if you went to it now it'd say the, the website is down so give us a couple weeks you'll be good to go so let's go in and take a look at this wonderful place and for those that haven't seen this it is absolutely amazing it goes all the way up there 31 floors of absolute beauty i really do love this place and a lot of our subscribers love it too because of the amenities and the fantastic features that it has. Let's go have a look at the pool areas. There is two of them. And then there's a cable car that takes you down to the beach. And we'll have a look at the beach area. And then we'll go have a look at the rooms. There is also an additional pool up on the roof. We'll have a look at that too. And then the gym. And a walk around at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Here we are on the sixth floor, room number 55. Take it away, Mr. Sean. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today. And let's get to the today's tour. All right, here we walk inside and we have our kitchen right over here. Uh, I'd like to point out we have two burners and two plugins over here for extra kitchen appliances. We got utensils and pots and dishes over here. A fridge and on my left, we have our couch. Now, before we continue with the living room, let's start with the uh, guest bathroom. We have two of them, all right? So, this is our guest bathroom. We have our mirror over here, the sink and one more plug-in for hair dryer potentially. A good size for people shower. Four people <laughs> shower, look at that Mr. Yeah. Sean. <laughs> uh, ah, and over here you got also a kind of cubicle space for shampoo. storage. Yeah, that's shampoo, that's shower gel, that sort of thing, bars of soap. Wow, that's a big one there at the top yeah. too. Yeah, plenty of space over here, so. Another nice detail I wanted to point out. All right, let's continue. Here is our couch. And in the living room, we have a dining table with four seats and the TV station over here with a shelf under, a plug-in, a kettle. Very nice. And this is our first room of the two. So this is a nice, I would say a king size, no? Uh, I'm gonna guess they're queen, actually. It queen? doesn't look six foot wide. It looks just under five foot wide, I'm guessing. So I'd say a queen, nice okay, size bed. My though. bad, my bad. Nope, that's okay. And here is our sliding door, wardrobe. All right. We got space here and over here. Yeah, plenty of room for suitcases. Yes. Now we got our uh, table, uh, kind of uh, office table with a mirror. And why I say office, because you got two plugins here under. Ah, well spotted Mr. Sean, yes. yes. So you could set up your computer over here and get some work done. Yeah, ideal. There you go, or use it as a makeup station. Also, yeah. And there are curtains, by the way. I'm just gonna point this out, Mr. Sean. If we fold these doors close, there is a curtain right here and it goes all the way across, so it is completely secluded. Exactly. 
and here's our second uh, room now I would say this is definitely a king size yes this one is definitely a king size yes. bed here that's six foot across very nice a lot of uh, room for walking yeah we got uh, a plug-in by each side of the bed and we have a TV across in the front so I you can enjoy movies at night and really, 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 really beautiful sea view outside of the window. It's just very come over nice. here and take a peek at that. Oh yeah, there you go. Very nice sea view right there. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And here uh, from this bedroom, you can access the bathroom over here. And this uh, one has also a bathtub. Ah, yes. so it is two bathroom. Okay, yeah. I thought I was going back into the first bathroom. No, 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 no. Hey, it's, you were uh, right, I was wrong. Yes, so you got one for the guest and one separate here, private for you. Ideal, ideal. And look at this for a bathtub. Yep, very nice here. You got a curtain here that you can raise up um, so you can, the, the light from outside come into your bathroom. Very nice, handheld and rainfall. Plenty of cupboard space there. Uh, well, shelves there, sorry. And then you get your faucet there with hot and cold water. Yes, there is underneath the sink, there is a water heater. All right. Plus, plus, plus. plus now let's go plus, out, plus. take a look out on the balcony. Now, sorry, it's this way. It's a rainy season, so yeah. the owner put it out so it doesn't get wet. But this is a very, very comfortable lounge chair, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it sits up and it's a rectangular one, good enough to set three people on. Loving it. Yeah, yeah, really nice. And wow, this view is amazing. And not only because of the sea view, and it's because we can get a little peek, not so little, but we can actually look at the Sanctuary of Truth over there. Yeah, the most beautiful temple here in Patia, right there. And I know the camera makes everything look small, folks, but believe me, it's absolutely huge here when you're standing here with your naked eye rather than this uh, uh, tiny camera that I've got. So yeah, really, really fantastic yes. view there. Now, one more thing, very important to mention, this apartment comes with a washing machine, which well, is ideal. over here. And you have the three air cons pointing out outside so you don't have to worry about the hot air coming at you yeah very nice i do like that feature people when people put it in like that i think it's really really nice that uh, you just have the extractors blowing out this way not on you while you want to sit here and have a coffee or a glass of wine in the evening and watching the sunset and the sunset's right over here so you're going to get a fantastic sunset here at every night beautiful so thank you for that and this uh two bedroom uh is how big sean uh, 70 square meter. 70 square meters, that's big. Yeah. That is big, I'm in a 62, and this feels a lot bigger than mine. And uh, what about water and electricity? Government rate. Government rate, and yeah. this is for rent, not for sale? Exactly, this one is for rent, and for rent it will be 40,000 baht per month for a one year contract. 40,000 baht per month for one year contract, this close to the beach. Plus, 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 Cooper says. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So now let's go take a look at the next condo. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Before we yeah. go upstairs and look at the rooms, uh, I'll just show ah. you around the ah, area. Okay. There is so we'll just, undercover uh, parking five minutes, and okay. it is on several stories. You go around the back here and uh, there's a ramp that goes up and it's got several floors of parking there. And then this is the outside pool area. This is not artificial grass, folks. This is real grass. So if you want to lay your towel down on nice soft grass, you could do that. Or you could lay in one of these beautiful pool loungers right here that are actually just inside the water. So very, very nice. And then here you have the jacuzzi and a jacuzzi switch. And there's a bench there goes along, ah, good enough for about 12 people there. It's actually quite a long bench. And then over the, this side over here, you do have stairs that go down to the pool. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're in the pool. Very nice. And then over at the end here, I'll just show you for those that haven't seen the previous video I made on this place. There are a couple of sinks here with mirrors, toilets, and showers. So you can rinse off before 
and after going into the pool. And then you have lockers here so you can put your, your wallet in there, your cell phone and lock it. And then you just take the key and put in your uh, pocket or little uh, pouch that you have in your swimming trunks, whatever, or your bathing suit for the ladies. And uh, enjoy yourself in the pool and don't have to worry about anything going missing. Even though uh, all my time out here in Thailand, I've never had anything go missing. It's pretty safe. You know, the residents that live here, they don't want to steal or take your personal belongings. But just for the added security, why not? You know, is a bonus to have that uh, lockable locker there that you can hold on to the key, keep your personal belongings safe. Let's go have a look at the back area here and here's your mailbox room so this is your reception area juristic office is just here they're in charge for your electricity water groundskeeping all that there so they're sort of like managers of the complex there's all your mailboxes there very nice and then you got plenty of seating here just to chill out and relax hello mr sean hello even more seating and at the back here is a library here you go, here's the library. Not many books, but you know, people leave them. Well, I suppose people don't read books many, much anymore. We're all got our tablets, we read stuff online or watch YouTube, Netflix, whatever. But you got a nice little room here just to chill out and relax. Put your lap, set your laptop up there and uh, just enjoy the fresh air from the ocean, which comes over here. Over this side, right up here is the gym okay so we'll go up and have a look at that in a little bit but over here this is the multi-story car park i was telling you about so there's one two three four five six seven floors of the multi-story car park so plenty of places to park not going to have an issue it's okay here. 28 so you right? saw the ground floor pool over there well there's also an additional infinity ground floor pool over here with a jacuzzi so really, really nice. And then this right here is an elevator. It takes you down to the beach. Literally, it is a one of those tram elevators. You get in there and uh, it takes you straight down to the beach. You just push the button. So great for those with mobility issues because you can actually fit a full size wheelchair in there. Plus, plus, plus. Here's your next pool. Again, with three loungers out here. So if you want to chill out here and why not it's got jacuzzis going around here the pool depth is 1.2 meters uh which i believe is around about four or five feet four and a half five feet somewhere around there sorry i'm not very good at uh metrics into uh, uh american sizes so i best guess four and a half five feet deep there and uh, for those that like the exercise you've also got the stairs here Let's go down and take a look at the beach. More lounging areas over here. So if you wanted to, you can come out from here with the wheelchair act, uh, the trolley that comes down. I'll just show you so you can see it for yourself. There you go. It is on tracks here and it just comes down. So this is the first part you can get off right here, or you can actually get off down the end, which is right at the beach. Then at the last steps here, by the trolley exit point, is a place to rinse your feet off. So you're coming in and you got sand on your feet. There you go, ideal, rinse your feet off right there. So as Cooper likes to say, super, super plus. And then there are security watching you right here, Swati Cop. So uh, make sure no unwanted guests come in. And there's the name of the condominium complex, Ban Ply Hod. Patia. So you got this little bit here, and then you just walk over there and come down, and then you're on the main beach, which doesn't really get many tourists. This is uh, mainly for the people that live here, uh, even though anybody could use it, but they don't. They end up going to Patia or Jomtien Beach. So you can pretty much have the whole beach to yourself. And then see this here this orange bit that goes in the water that's to keep you safe from the jellyfish folks uh, they do have netting beneath them 
and that stops you getting jellyfish stings. It is seasonal, they're not here very often, but you don't really wanna go in there on a bad day when they are, so <laughs> there you go, ideal place for you. And it protects you against the boats and the jet skis and stuff like that, keeps the kids safe. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Welcome back, here we are on the 28th floor, room 332. Take it away, Sean. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Okay, let's start off with the kitchen. We have two burners, kettlebell. No, I'm joking. Kettle. Kettle. You're learning. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and we have a fridge here too. Nice. Uh, a microwave. All right. And uh, yeah, very nice. Over here, up, you can see we have a central aircon, and you have all over the, all over this living room. In the bedroom, we have a standalone one. All right, and take a look at this space in this living room. It's a really, really spacious, big size living room. A yep. lot of space here. We have a big couch, a coffee table, and the TV in the front. Yep, smart screen TV. And I also noticed this couch has got a pull out at the bottom of it, Sean, so you can pull that out to another bed. Yeah. It definitely has there. There you go. You pull it out and then that'll pop up and you got another bed there or you can put, lay there with your feet up and binge watch Cooper's Dive Venture on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus, plus. And oh. a three, four seater dining table. The other one's holding the door open so we can get some breeze in here. Sorry, <laughs> folks, it's pretty warm. Uh, the air con's been off for quite some time. So it's hot in here. So we got that so we just get some breeze going up. But a four seater dining table. And then let's go to our bedroom. Here's our bedroom. We have a nice big size, king sized bed. We have our TV, it's sitting here in the side. And here's our standalone aircon mm -hmm. device over here. Yeah. And beside you, Cooper, we have a sliding door wardrobe. Uh, ideal, it comes complete with an iron and a blow dryer. There you go, ladies, if you wanted this place, you wouldn't have to buy your own load, uh, <laughs> blow dryer. And, yes. And, and spare bedding set. Exactly. Nice. And then it's got big, huge space here at the top. Ideal to put a couple suitcases up there out the way. And right. it's got sea view out of both windows in the bedroom. That right there, I don't know how well you could make it out, but right there, that is Wongamat Beach. The next one right there, that is Patia Beach. That's how far you are away. So very near to Patia. Amazing. All right, let's finish off uh, with the bathroom. This room has its own bathroom. And here we go. Come on in inside, we have our sink, we have our light over here, nice. and we have a plug-in for oh. high, hair dryer or Electric any other. razor, things like that. Yes, exactly. there's your plug-in right there. And uh, what I like about this, that this uh, bathroom has a shower and a bathtub. A shower and a separate bathtub. There yeah. we go, yeah. So you get your shower with your rainfall here, and there you go, there's your and bathtub right next to it. also you have a nice window over here. And then you got a nice view. view, yeah, right out there. Loving it, loving it, loving it. How many people can we get in this bathroom, Mr. Sean? What would you say, three people in the shower, two in the tub, five? I don't know, I'm not in the mouth yet. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go out and take a look at the money shot we like to call the balcony. And here it is, the star of the show. Wow, look at this view. This right here is the million dollar view, Sean. It is, it's Fantastic. almost as I can reach out my hand and touch it. Yeah, it is that close. Right there is the... Um, Sanctuary of Truth. Sanctuary of Truth, I can never yes. get that in. But yeah, that's the beach we were down at earlier in the video, right there. So we uh, come down here on the trolley and straight down to this beach here. And then that's the Sanctuary of Truth right there now this is a very long balcony and i'm going to stand at one corner and show you the other side where mr sean is there you go i would say this is easily uh 25 uh, 22 to 25 foot long balcony ideal yes. loving it loving it loving it and where i stand we also have our washing machine uh-huh and the same case like in the other room we have the aircon pointing out outside going out towards sea not in your face exactly. ideal and an upright samsung wash machine very nice and you can also access this balcony from your bedroom this is also a sliding door here right beside your bed plus 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 
comes complete with two chairs and a table and an error here for your clothes. So, Sean, let's go over this wonderful place. Tell us about it. All right, so it's a one bedroom, one bathroom, 55 square meter. We are on the 28th floor and the price for a room this size on this floor will be 6.7 million baht. To buy? Yes, to buy. Okay. And uh, transfer fee tax is 2%. Electricity and water government rate, and it's just an amazing room, amazing view. Anyone who has got the budget, I highly recommend him to buy something of this sort. It's really amazing. And that transfer fee is shared between you and the previous owner of 1% yes, each. Yes, of course, of yeah. course. Okay, so what if you wanted to rent something like that? If you wanted a one bedroom, you didn't want a two bedroom, what would you pay for rent for this? Uh, I would say you would pay between 25,000 to 30,000, depends on the floor and the season, all right? Uh -huh. So for low season, I would say 25, for high season, 30. And you could have a view just like this yes. on a high floor. Wow, what a bonus there. For those that don't like the shoe boxes, like the bigger ones, and this is how many square meters? 55. 55 square meters. Yeah. Loving it, loving it, loving it. It's almost the size of my two bedroom. Yeah. And so let's uh, go take a look at the facilities and have a little walk around outside. Stay tuned. Welcome back, and here we are on the 30th floor. So if two pools weren't enough for you, guess what? There's a third one, a third one right here <laughs> with a ocean view sky pool long bench here to chill out and relax and the pool does come down here to the to the edge just there very very nice apologize for the wind it's a little bit breezy today yes uh right now it's a little bit cloudy but this pool is uh especially for people who are looking to get a little bit of tan all right so we have the swimming pools uh downstairs all right which have a lot of trees around a lot of more shadows but here you could get a really nice tan on the rooftop yep what a fantastic view yeah oh yeah i'm just gonna stand over here one second sean because i just saw something in the camera right over here if you can see uh, let me get my fingers right here folks it's just right about here welcome to patia sign right there <laughs> i could just make it out <laughs> the big orange patia sign and over here we will have the showers for men and women oh changing rooms with showers ideally right here left and right men and women ideal okay let's go have a look at the gym and then a little walk around stay tuned now as promised let's go have a look at more common areas and the gym and it is wheelchair accessible here too so a lot of places are going full bore with uh, wheelchair accessibility and it's super fantastic so downstairs you got seating area here just to chill out and relax with the tv there and you have like a reception area here used to be but uh possibly a good place just to sit back and chill out listen to some music and uh, relax. And these are the stairs you can take up to the gym. But guess what? They also have an elevator right here. So let's go have a look at the gym. And uh, it's a glass elevator. So you can see as we're going up, there we go. Right beside the multi-story car park here. Oh wow, super air con in here. TV in here, free weights, good place to do some curls there, sit up crunches, multi machine there, cross trainer, bicycle, two running machines there, and another cross trainer, and another bicycle there. And then a yoga area here at the front. So again, a very nice gym. I do like it. And look at that view while you're working out, you're looking right over at the ocean and the other infinity pool just here. And the cable car right there goes down the beach. Plus, plus, plus. And as if that wasn't enough on the third floor of the gym, right now it's rainy season, like Sean said. So they got all the stair, uh, the chairs stacked up right here. But you have a veranda area here and there's a barbecue that everybody can utilize right there. So you just take the barbecue out and there you go. You can uh, chill out here, Let's find the door that opens, Cooper, and enjoy the open air. 
sink area over here for you. And you just set out the tables and chairs, have some friends over, cook yourself some good steaks, hamburgers, hot dogs, ribs, you name it, chicken. And this is the view you're gonna enjoy right there. Fabulous. All this you get in this condominium complex. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So as promised, I told you I'd give you a street view of what's around. Let's go out and take a look. So here we are coming out the entrance exit. And you can only go left here. You're on a dead end street. So absolutely fantastic. As the last place you can go to is just right here, this building. So you're not gonna get a lot of vehicles coming back. It's not gonna be very noisy. You're in a very quiet place here. And right outside here is Topps Daily Mini Mart. So if you need your milk, your toast, your coffee, your tea, you know, toilet paper, all that sort of stuff. You know, it's a little convenience store. It's got it all right there. And I have filmed this area several times and I just only came back here because Sean said that he's got uh, a rental that he wanted to show us. And uh, we did have a lot of requests. Cooper, you know, the last one you showed us was for sale. Please let us know if you have any rentals. We'd really like to see them. So no problem. You request it, we do it on the channel. And then up here, you got a hair salon, you got 7-Elevens, coffee shops, all that. You are a little way from the bot bus route, folks. So the bot bus route from here uh, to um, Naklua Road is where you get the bot bus. Uh, I would say it's probably a good 15, 20 minute walk. So what a lot of people do that stay here is they get the motorcycle taxis like this gentleman right here. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Another one of our subscribers there. <laughs> and uh, just like him, he'll get the motorcycle taxi, take him up to the bot bus route. Nice and easy. Just jump on the back. They're pretty good drivers out here. Also, you can walk just down here. I'm going to show you to Wongamat Beach. All right. So it's just right there where this motorbike's coming out. You can go straight down there to Wongamat Beach. It's uh, not very far at all. So if you wanted the bigger beach, you'd come over here. And this is everything that you got around. You got a health massage here, uh, two of them actually. And then uh, a realtor office. There's uh, several shops here, uh, barbers, and a uh, little knickknack shop right over here. And People have been asking me about the e-scooters. There you go. People driving around them, loving it, loving it, loving it. There you go. That is the latest looking e-scooters over here. They got the roof on it to uh, keep the rain off you. And there's even sides that fold down on it. So you're completely enclosed. And it is street legal. You do not need a Thai driver's license to drive one. It says they only have a top speed of about 35 kilometers an hour. So therefore, not required a Thai driver's license. And let me know down in the comments down below what you thought of today's places. Uh, I really liked the two bedroom and the one bedroom was fantastic. It really was very, very nice. Um, if you're interested in this condominium, uh, Sean does get quite a lot of the two bedrooms and the one bedrooms for rental. So we're now coming into that season where they're gonna just about be ready to let out. And like he said in the video, if you know for the for the one bedroom that size 25 to 30 depending on season and time of year if you lock it in and low season you'll pay 25,000 for the whole year deal <laughs> great price there and until next time wherever you are good morning good afternoon good evening god bless you all and stay tuned